showing you some things that Hank and I do on the road when we're training for the benefit of his owner. Hank's a young puppy, but very big, and when the time comes to walk him, we won't want him pulling on the leash. And while he's nice and young and manageable, now's a good time to train him some leash skills. So one thing that we do when we're out walking is we start at the Lord heel. And I'll show you what that looks like. Hey, heel. So I keep my hand out a little in front. That's to keep the heel position. A heel position break is necessary so that your dog knows where exactly you want them to stay. If you keep it too ambiguous, they're going to end up pulling on the leash. If you train them where, and we're in training right now, just the very beginning, if you train them where the position is, then they'll be in the position you want them to be um, when it's convenient for you and it's hard for you to have a dog weaving. Um, in front of your legs or behind your legs or walking around you. Especially good for city walking, but it also comes in quite handy um, for everyday life, as you will find out if you teach your dog heel. Let's do that again, slightly in front of the nose. And when you're doing a puppy, it's okay for them to touch the treats with your hand or the new dog. In fact, that's how I'm luring him to pos into position. That's why I keep my hand out slightly in front so his head comes out slightly in front of my leg right there. So you start off with your left foot heel. I want to auto sit at the end, or it will be an auto sit. Good boy. Leave that. Good. And uh, I accidentally dropped some treats, but ideally you want him to take them from your hand, and I'll tell him to leave it and show him every time that I that the treats come from me. Let's do that again. And if he walks away from you, he's just a puppy. You just need to capture his attention. You clapping your hands or. Um, using your relationship to get his attention back. I like to start puppies off when they're still, you know, awake because this is work. Even though it's fun for the puppy, it's work. And interested in me and what we're doing. Also, I like to keep sessions pretty brief for a puppy um, of any one thing we're doing. I don't like them to get bored. Some dogs are different than others. Some dogs don't get bored by this. They're way into the treats. Other dogs, you know, it's time to move on to something else sometimes. We have the, the metal training collar on him now, but we're not using it for corrections or corrections inflicted by me. We're just getting him used to, at a puppy stage, um, that type of collar for when he's over six months old, and we can give him mild corrections at that point. Um, when he's used to the equipment and, you, and you've already trained him what to do, then you don't need to correct him harshly as long as you've conditioned him to the equipment.